Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and one of my favorite things to do, a hobby of sorts, is archiving old Minecraft mods. Okay, so I work along with MC Archive a bit, and, um, you know, I like to go out and search for old Minecraft mods and learn, you know, install them, play with them, all that kind of stuff. But it's getting increasingly hard, so I want to share some techniques on how to do it uh, in case that interests you. Uh, and we're going to use an example of the laser mod for Minecraft, okay? And that one's been around for a while. I think it actually ended at 1.7.10, I believe. But anyway, it's a pretty cool mod. Um, and we're going to try to get some old versions of it, okay? And this is just an example. I've, I've archived and found uh, all of these, or a lot of them. Um, but I'm just going to show you kind of what you got to go through. So I start off in Google here with, you know, laser mod Minecraft, just as a basic search. Uh, I haven't got specific on versions yet. Basically, first I'm trying to locate the Minecraft forum because early mods were generally distributed on the forum. Now the forum's kind of a mess right now and uh, fandom just screwed it up. I mean, fandom, you know, they should be cursed forever because they just screwed the Minecraft forum up badly. And I'll show you that as we go. But you can see that when I run across the forum thing, it says no information is available for this page. And it's because fandom took the pages down over a million pages and then just sold it off to somebody else. So it passed from the regular curse media to uh, Twitch, and then Twitch dumped it off to fandom, and then fandom basically destroyed a third of it and then passed it on. So screw fandom. But anyway, here's what we got to do. So if I go to this page, it's going to give me a forbidden, you do not have access to this bull crap. Okay. So our first thing we got to try is just copy that link that's given to us here. Okay. And again, you're going to have to try different things uh, under different conditions, but then we're going to go to archive.org. Okay, we're going to go to the Wayback Machine. And thank goodness for them. They are awesome. Uh, so we'll paste the URL in the browse history and go to it. Okay, and if we get lucky, then we'll be in good shape. All right. So 2019, forget all that. That's all fandom stuff that they destroyed. Try to get back as early as you can now. There's some messes here with Twitch where they were forcing you to switch over to Twitch logins and all this kind of stuff that pollutes the pages with overlays, a frame overlay. But we'll try to get back as far as we can. And what we're looking for is a blue one. A blue one says that it's not gonna redirect on us. It tells us it here at the bottom what the yellow and stuff means, all right? So we'll just try to go back to 2017 uh, in October and see what we get on that. Okay, so it's calling up the archives and stuff, so it's not as fast as your normal web browsing. Uh, so be a little patient with that. Um, and not all images and all that stuff, not everything translates. Sometimes the spoilers are all messed up. You know, it just depends. But we're looking for some basic information. Now, it's not usually this slow, but it varies. So come on, guy. I'm trying to make a demonstration video here. So let's do this. Uh, be patient. Come on. There we go. All right. So uh, this one is from December 2013. This post, and you know, you want to kind of go to the bottom and see where it's been edited. It was edited in 2015. All right. And so this is telling us for what's the topic: 172 and 1710. All right. We want to go a lot further back than that so there's the download for that all right here we got this mod was originally a modding competition my jam 3 updated and merged with the old laser mod all right old laser mod that's what we want so we go back and it's going to redirect us here to another page on on the forum that it has and it's dead the laser mod Okay, so this was the author abandoning it and passing it over to another author. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's one of the you know earlier authors, and he's talking about the made it in my jam. 
So, you know, he could be one of the original ones. Now, we do have a link for the source code here, which is good, but you do not have permission to release this mod. Only GoToLink. Now, GoToLink uh, did a lot of mod updates around the 1710 time. Uh, okay, but let's check our spoiler here. We're trying, this is not what we want. I haven't seen what the versions are, but sometimes they'll have a spoiler of the old thread, and that's kind of what it looks like here. So it says, like, you can download an outdated version here. Okay, so we want to go back further. And that's going to redirect us now. It looks like we're in the 1.2.5 era. Now that's getting closer to what we're looking for and it could actually give us the hit that we want. Okay, so let's let that load. See, we've gone through three different redirects to get where we want to be. And thank goodness that they left tracks to get back. Now that's not always the case. Okay, so here's a 2011 post. Now we're in good shape and you can see it's a completely different author. Uh, the updated version was this web Milo's where we just went. Okay, so each one's leading to the next one, and that's good. So that's this is good. It's got nice pictures. It's got the crafting recipes and all this kind of stuff. Okay, but let's see what we got file-wise. All right, so we're going to just keep going down. Uh, we got a change log. That's good. That's useful. You know, you're trying to recreate how to use some of these old mods as well. Uh, so each one of these I will bookmark the page but I also have a setting up here that you could do at the top where you can save it in my web archive at your own uh, archive.org account okay and that's good it makes it easier to find it plus it also gives you an archive so I, I habitually archive these pages and I've already done that but okay here's the downloads area here all right so we've got down to beta 1.7.3 now it looks like these are the same files just different options okay so this one's a zip file so that's fine now the link we look at it let's see uh, we, we can't actually see the link in our overlay maybe if I say this is okay then I can see it now I can't see it on my overlay so we're just gonna have to kind of risk it to figure out where it's going to lead us now what I do is I open link an incognito window now that's not going to totally protect you but it's going to stop tracking cookies and stuff like that alright so if I if I have an unknown link and see it's a bitly link alright so I could see right there it was a bitly link but it redirected me to a Dropbox and I got the file right there okay now it's named something really weird but I did get the file, all right? Um, now we're gonna try to see if we can't get into this Dropbox here, okay? So what we got is we got an archive file off of the Wayback Machine where they archived the Dropbox, okay? That's why we got the file. Uh, but, you know, there's more files on that Dropbox. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy this beginning uh, address here up to the the user account here is five three three nine one seven three uh, we just want to see that Dropbox all right so we're gonna paste that link into there and then hit return for it to find it okay and it says that was on the web Let's look at it again. okay it says that one's on the web yeah we don't care about that so what we're going to do is we're going to put a slash on the end of it, like so, okay? And that's telling it, do we have any directories inside of there, okay? So it's not finding it there, but it's saying, hey, do you want to search for all pages archived under this? Okay, yes, we do. We want to search for that. Okay, and there we go. Now we've got 85 URLs from that. Now there's a lot of PNGs. But here's a lot of files that they're referring to, the zips, uh, all that. So we can filter up here at the top for zip files and just see what we want from there. So then we would, you know, obviously just go back to the page and compare the versions. You know, we want 1.4 for 1.2.3, 1.3, 1.2. It looks like there's 1.5, 1.4, there's 1.5B. Uh, but see, the mod is WeCraft at this point, 
that, that's something to keep in mind. So that's where we got this unzipped that. So it changed names kind of at some point or another. It was we craft early in its phase, okay? But basically, uh, you know, when you click on these, you're gonna get redirected to a page and then you'll select a page from that time period. The blue one is what you want and then you can grab it. Now, sometimes mods have used the same name, but changed, uh, you know, use the exact same URL, but did it in different months. And sometimes you can like lead back from there. But anyway, that's how you one way go back. Okay, it's just start with that search. And if there's, you know, trails that lead you from one to the other, awesome. And then if you can get into the Dropbox, even better, okay? And uh, it's kind of hit and miss. It's kind of a fun thing to do really uh, because it's kind of like a detective searching through stuff or whatever. And I do enjoy it. And anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you uh, so you can pick up some of these tricks. And anyway, this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.